I am toast because I was doing maybe 90. He doesn't appear to be behind me. We're in the clear. We're in the clear, guys. Whew. That was a close one. It was like an undercover looking cruiser, sheriff, state trooper, whatever. And uh, boy, I tell you what, my butt hurt pucker so much. I was like, whoo, please officer, don't get me. Yeah. What's up YouTube? It is a marvelous day here in Minnesota. It's Sunday from 5.30 p.m. And what better time and place to bring a motovlog to you um today not really much to talk about other than it's my first motor <laughs> oh man i tell you what this is just how i dreamed it to be and right now i'm just talking gibberish um but i'm so excited all in all to bring you guys a motor vlog like I said I was going to do, I know I've been slacking. Um, it has been two months since I made a video, which is unacceptable, I know. You can tear me up in the comments if you want to. Not like I have too many people watching my videos just yet, but um, for my folks who do watch my videos, I think I have, what, 31 subscribers now? Wouldn't it be so amazing to watch this channel grow? And like being one of those people who watched someone's videos and see how their channel grows you know like if you watch this video and like a year later i went from like 31 subscribers to like 30,000 subscribers which isn't really too far um what is the word for it i'm looking for far sketched or something like that um because it is possible. I do have a lot of content that I will be bringing you guys. Um, so stay stay tuned for all of it. And I promise this time I will be a man of my word and uh, do what I said when I said I was going to do. Like I said, I, uh, I have, this is like my first video in like two months. I've just been super, super busy. And when I first started these, oh my God. <laughs> Man, this Hayabusa really takes the wind out of you, I swear. Oh, man. Anyways, I forgot what I was saying because this is so gosh darn exciting. Uh, I don't even know where I'm going. We're just joyriding. Just like this lady right here. Hey, how are you doing? She looks like she uh, listens to reggae talk. Maybe. Perfect weather. It's like 77 degrees. Let's not forget what type of motorcycle we're on. We are on a Suzuki Hayabusa. Um, fun, fun, fun. Um, I know you don't see a lot of guys on Hayabusas doing moto vlogs. At least I haven't seen them. This is usually your, you know, leader bikes that are. 1000s, 600s, stuff like that. Um, but nevertheless, this is my, I want to say, one, two, three, four, six or seventh bike, I think. I've had a lot. First bike was a 2003 Kawasaki ZX6R, which was my baby. I love that bike. Um, I probably still would have had it. Well, I would have had other bikes on top of it, but I still would have had that bike if it didn't get totaled. Yes, it got totaled. Um, it got totaled. Um, it's, it, it's been years. It's been 
it's been at least seven years since then my wife was actually on the back of the bike with me um, it was a pretty bad accident um, obviously we're okay well obviously I'm okay because I'm talking right now but my wife is untouched as well uh, we're both okay <laughs> um, it was a pretty bad accident um, the lady pulled out in a Jeep she well actually she, she blew her stop sign and uh, we were cruising at maybe probably this speed around 40 um, and we t-boned her well we t-boned her her uh, fender her front fender where her wheel well is and uh, we both flew over my wife got knocked out somehow I ended up like Superman and landed on one foot and one knee or something like that something crazy and uh, that was that bike got totaled bought another bike maybe two weeks later because I'm just crazy like that <laughs> um, that was awkward anywho yeah I bought another bike two weeks later and the rest is history and I kept getting tired of them and selling them and then buying another one um, the bike I bought two weeks later was a 2006 uh, Yamaha R1 loved that bike bought it customized already which is something I really don't like doing that's the type of stuff I like doing myself but I couldn't resist it was a beautiful custom paint job custom swing arm it was a stretched I think six inches the right way it wasn't like the um, the extensions that you buy for the swing arm it was actually welded on and all that stuff so I felt more comfortable um, doing that or buying it like that anyways I should say um, but yeah I rode that bike for maybe two years got tired of it wanted something else then I bought a 2007 Honda CBR 1000 love that bike um, rode that for a while and then got tired of that bike so this is an ongoing problem I've been having for a, a while now um, I just can't stay loyal to anything except for my wife I'm sure she'll appreciate that when she watches this video love you babe anyways <laughs> man um, it got kind of hot all of a sudden but anywho I have a problem staying loyal to motorcycles and any type of cars I've had a lot of cars too a lot of sports cars stuff like that now I'm on the old lifted truck scene um, which you'll see on some of my other videos that uh, I have a lifted truck and stuff like that that I like to uh, play around with and things like that but anyways like I, I've always traded in things and got something new or sold things and got something new because that's just how I am I don't know I'm sure there's a lot of other guys out there like me if you're like me give me a thumbs up or a peace sign in the comment comment that down below or something so I know that I'm not the only one um, besides that I got tired back to the other conversation I got tired of that uh, I didn't get tired of it but I just want something new so I upgraded to a 2008 from a 2007 Honda CBR 1000 and same thing got tired of that and got something else but anyways now we're on a 2011 Suzuki Habusa aka the MF you shouldn't mess with unless you know how to ride well I should say because this will have you hanging off this is this is this is a madman's dream this bike is so powerful now I know I'm going to get a lot of backlash on the comments with this but to my defense um, I haven't rode a what is it I haven't I haven't ridden a uh, BMW S1000 RR yet which I played on that may be my next bike who knows um, and I haven't ridden a Kawasaki H2 yet which that may be my next bike who knows um, obviously I can't keep with one thing I always got to change around so 
And when it comes to sport bikes, those will probably be my two go-tos, if that makes any sense. Because I, body style, I love those bikes. And just from the, from what I hear about them, I love them. Um, and they're saying, you know, Hayabusa is no longer the fastest, one of the fastest bikes. Well, that, that been changed. Um, because you have the Kawasaki, uh, 1400 which is aka the Busa killer which I haven't ridden one of those I'm, I'm down for riding any type of bike I like sport bikes I like Harleys your touring bikes all those a bike is a bike they're just different other than that um, yeah There you have it folks, uh, that's a little spiel about, just a little background of myself. I'm not going to give you too much, you'll have to watch more of my videos to get the other 75% of me. I can't give you all of me yet, I'm not John Legend, what do you think this is? <laughs> oh man. Man this helmet's getting kind of hot. Just bought a new helmet. Was that a cop? Hopefully not. I think it was in. Hello. Maybe I turn right here to trick him out. Who knows? Hope it wasn't a cop. Because if I got a cop. I am toast because I was doing maybe 90. He doesn't appear to be behind me. So, I think we're in the clear. We're in the clear, guys. Whew. That was a close one. When I seen that, I don't know if you guys seen it. It was like an undercover looking cruiser, sheriff, state trooper, whatever. And uh, boy, I tell you what, my butt hook puckered so much. I was like, oh, please officer, don't get me. I actually got pulled over the other day, which thank God for that cop. He was actually a really, really nice cop. He pulled me over. Yes, I was speeding. I'm not going to tell you the speed I was going and what the speed limit was. Um, but I was going considerably fast in a speed limit that was considerably slow for what speed I was going. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Anywho, he pulled me over. He says, thanks for stopping, by the way. I was like, oh, well, isn't that what we were supposed to do? Uh, maybe I didn't get the memo. Maybe we were supposed to keep going when you get pulled over anyways I know what he meant by that and I hope you guys know what he means by that too um, he knew what type of bike I was on oh are you gonna get any closer to me or are you just gonna knock me off the road uh, people anyways um, he's like he knew what type of bike I was on he's like usually guys like that on this type of bike would just run um, I don't know how true that is especially in the state of Minnesota Minnesota nice um, I don't know how true that is in Minnesota but Florida is a different story but we're not going to get into the Florida stories just yet like I said you got to click on more videos and subscribe to me to find out more information about my Florida shenanigans uh, but anyways uh, but yeah I was going pretty fast uh, he said thanks for being honest and stopping he asked me um, when, the, when was the last time I got a speeding ticket? And it's been years. You know, I was like, yeah, it's been, it's been a couple years. He's like, all right. Went back to his, well, he asked me, of course, he asked me for my ID and proof of insurance and all that good stuff. Gave it to him and came back. He's like, hey, man, once again, I appreciate you being honest. Just keep, the, keep, keep your speed down, man, and be safe out there. And 
gave him a handshake and was on my merry way. Um, so yeah, when people say that's another that's another time. This has nothing to do with motor vlogging or motorcycles, but a lot of people talk shit about police officers, and which is something that I totally don't agree with. Yes, there are some bad police officers out there that are your, you know, you know, everybody knows there's bad police officers out there. But there's, people for, tend to forget that there's also good police officers out there that will stick their neck out for you and they, you know, and they, they wanted to be a police officer for all the right reasons, if that makes any sense. Because I know that you have your police officers that are out there for the reasons of they just want power and authority and they just want to be able to do what they want to do to you without any um, backlash or whatever. But there are some good cops out there that will, you know, be good to you. And it'll cut you a break every once in a while. Now, with that being said, this police officer, I wish I would have got his name and remembered his name. But he was one of the nice police, nicest officers that I've ever met uh, since I've been out here on these roadways in any state. And that's the guy's honest truth. So kudos to you, officer. Thank you for not giving me a ticket. Um, or taking me to jail one or the other because the speed that was going like I said anyways we're not getting into that right now um, but moving on to the next subject you know I'm kind of all over the place right now because this is my first moto vlog and so you know so guys just bear with me I, I really don't uh, like I said it's my first moto vlog so Hopefully I get better at this. Let me know in the comments what I can do to get better because I know there's a lot of guys who watch motovlogs and kind of know the, the ins and outs. But I will get better with this. I'll have to go ahead and edit this and see if it's bad or anything and edit out some things or whatever or or just uh, if we could do the, the raw footage thing, raw footage deal. Um, but anyways, like I said, I got plenty more motor vlogs to go through. Um, well, not go through, but but do for you guys, because I do ride a lot. Every chance I get, uh, I'll probably be doing another one right after this one. Who knows? Um, meaning like the same day. I don't know. I may cut this short and do another one about another topic. Who knows? Or maybe tomorrow. The sky's the limit right now because I'm motor vlogging and I feel like I'm on top of the world. How about that? <laughs> but no I'm just having fun I hope I can share some experiences with you guys on this aspect of motor vlogging and all my other guys who have motorcycles who've thought about motor vlogging just go ahead and do it why not why not I pondered a while saying hey, should I you know I ride a lot should I do motor vlogging should I go get a GoPro and do this and do that who knows man that was a fast stop um anyways yeah just go ahead and do it just motor vlog do it what else do you gotta lose you heard trump isn't that what he said yeah yeah that's what he said anyways yeah just go ahead and just go ahead and do it don't have any doubts you'll get better but you know that's primarily what this channel is really about is motor vlogging lifted truck stuff um, just all kind of different things have to do with you know that you know that type of stuff just just fun things water skiing you know jet skiing all that stuff um, anything I can do to pretty much have fun I'm Anything that has to do with motors moving really fast. Um, but yeah, I gotta stop saying um too much. I'd have to edit those out. Or maybe we can count them starting now. Now I'm gonna try not to say um. Oh shit, I just did it again. <laughs> uh, should it be a, I should be a comedian too. Maybe I could do some of that. Um, but. 
Yeah, that's basically what this channel is going to be about. So if you're into all that type of stuff, please subscribe. Please help me help you grow my channel. <coughs> Excuse me. I had to say I had to say that um, a certain way because I was about to cough. So I don't know if that sounded funny. Anyways, that's 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 irrelevant. But yeah, I would appreciate it so much if you guys would subscribe to the channel. Um. Like I said, I'm trying to get this channel grown. Um, trying to get the bigger, bigger following. You can also follow me. Um, on Instagram, which I'll put that up in the video somewhere. Follow me on Instagram. All that good stuff. And I won't let you guys down. I'll put some new content up. Pretty much periodically. I try to I'll, let's say this. I'll try to do at least one moto vlog a week. I'll at least do one moto vlog a week. See what my see what my time schedule is, because I I do I have a pretty busy schedule. I have three young kids, and I work full time. Um, so we'll see what that lets me do first. But I know I could do at least one a week. And then we'll go from there. I'm just going to say I could do one a week. I know I could do more than one. But we're just going to say one a week for now. And then you guys will see other stuff coming. But with that being said, I think I am going to sign out right now. Because I'm probably going to be doing some illegal stuff on this bike that I don't want you guys to see. I don't want to be a bad influence on all you other guys. You know what I mean? I mean, it is a high boost. I mean, come on. Oh, oh speak to me. Oh, oh speak to me. <laughs> oh, man. Peace out, guys.